I I never ever uh, could possibly understand. I could possibly not understand insane uh, father is toxic uh, suicidal habit of eating bread and drinking tea uh, for the breakfast and whatever mother prepared for him that was visibly shitty uh, but my father was the one who tutored me, even my father, not only mother. They took great time to explain me idiotic stuff, basically. That bread is not uh, nutritious, uh, etc., etc., etc. That I have to eat food like, rather like uh, healthy food, eggs, etc., etc. Uh, I never could, therefore, understand why was it that father was, I'm not going to say, but yes, nutritiously was deliberately starving himself prior to his departure to home for elderly people. Actually, through the stroke, to hospital and then to home for elderly people. Till I realized that pain one visits also encourage one into a crazy behavior, like seeking attention as to everything they have pointed me out on how I should, and I really shouldn't, because when he was playing with the saliva in his mouth inside of the hospital, inside of the home for elderly people, I was actually even demonstrated by the nurse Yanko how to, in real time, remind it. Okay, during MK Ultra, they, they, they demonstrated me this all the time. Uh, you know, pushing father. Uh, if, if he doesn't want to do this, you just take the uh, tube and you're pushing his mouth. And uh, when he's biting, uh, you have to find a way to push the tube in his mouth to suck his saliva out of his mouth, basically. Something that I totally refused. Once he started to do that kind of stuff, I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Uh, a hearing aid, the same thing. Bragged to me about how they managed to fool him to push the hearing aid in his ears, etc., etc. I could, I couldn't understand. However, regardless of everything I watched, these are my parents. I couldn't understand when mother. Not when he she stated to me what you definitely during MK Ultra when she stated to me that she will go and she will obviously cancer starve herself. As she stated, it will only take few times on a garbage food to complete the cycle. And she's drinking coffee, like instant coffee garbage, total garbage that even she mentioned to me she doesn't drink water. And it was a well discussed issue during MK Ultra. They discussed the issue that if drinking coffee, you don't drink water. It made no fucking sense other than toxicity itself when watching parents doing this stuff to you in front of you. Uh, it puts you into depression. It puts you into it. It's a it's a it's a severe gaslighting. They only do this. They only did this because of my own health problems. Because of severe health problems, I am dealing with.
they haven't done this stuff because they would suffer from a depression or because they would have uh, real problems or anything like this. But with the hope to accomplish something else. To me, when facing off with these kind of issues, when I prepared Father Salmon, rather than a garbage that was waiting him, I have written about this stuff the way some stuff I did not, much of, most of the stuff I did not publish uh, on the internet because I was afraid that if I do publish this stuff on the internet, they could incarcerate my mother. However, uh, I have to finish this. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch did not go down only on me. But psychiatrist Peter Kapsch did go down only on me. Um, it's a bit difficult to explain, but I would have my parents, I want my parents to be arrested immediately before they're going to cause themselves harm, injury. Uh, the relationship between Slovenian police, psychiatrists, cops, and Slovenian government was such that they mind poisoned them. They mind poisoned. Um, this is a this is extremely 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 from the psychiatrist psychologist administered with a precision operation they conducted. So look what I wrote right about right there. <laughs> it's uh, the behavior of the British royals eventually encouraged me to mistreat myself, as I was. I never wanted to hate these people. I never ever wanted to hate these people, but the further I digged into MK Ultra, the more I learned what they have done to me. And the news that they triggered was designed accordingly with a torture which took place in Britain, in Slovenia, and other parts of the world torture which they financed, promoted on every step of the way with the idea to foremost kill me. You can kill person and with different tools in many different ways, including the psychiatric hospital, which British royals preferably used. It was a preferred tool, was a psychiatric hospital. Gaslighting was their preferred tools. Something that I have to thank the British government, the British police for, because they allowed physical, heavy physical torture to be done on me in greater than Great Britain. Sad to note that British police encourage gaslighting through the use of the physical torture just as it was used in Guantanamo or let's say by troops in Afghanistan. At times, just as much intense torture would take place. These are two different, totally different um, issues. Um, basically inflicting yourself, I'm going to say, even a deliberate harm. 
however, are also two completely different worlds. Now I'm getting in the head of the psychiatrists and psychologists who enforce through the police this genocide against me. What exactly I mean by this is that the nature itself is based on depression in one. When I started to observe uh, the way I was in reality viewed as by the British royals, it had a profound psychological impact on me in a very negative way. Um, it, I was hurt to actually note whatever they were doing. The only thing I was doing is I proceeded and I investigated further and further and further about what really the relationship was between me and them. Uh, as I would list the proofs about their physical foremost abuse, a British genocide was based on a physical torture. Uh, after one window, it would open the second window, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the da, 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 da. It also what would open to me was attempts of Prince Charles, uh, Prince William, uh, Prince Harry, Prince Andrew, now King Charles, uh, on how to hush me. If you will continue down this path, uh, it will be this, we no longer will consider you, and so on, and then this, and so on, and then we'll, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we will start to see ourselves in them, and so on, and so forth. And yet, yeah, I continued, and I continued, but if you go through my blog, you're going to find the most disgusting, the most repulsive, physically torturous, psychologically abusive ways any human being could possibly come up with. And if I go to the childhood, note Princess Anne, what she did in Russia. And for me, what I was seen as afterwards in Slovenia as a traitor, the school about the traitor, that kind of British stuff, uh, you have to be a fucking beast to administer genocide like this on a small children, on a small child. You have to be a beast. You cannot be, uh, you cannot be really a human, but okay. A British politician, I'm not going to say who stated just watch out, Bob, he said to me. Just watch out, Bob, so that we're not going to end up losing the war. Uh, without even starting one. And he didn't meant uh, the war in Ukraine. But the stuff they did to me, losing the war in a sense that you're going to spill all everything about what we did to you uh, and it will place us back into the category of the colonialism of the colonialists demonstrate us depict us in a light which buried us for a long time to come the bloody British colonial legacy. It was people that warned me about stating what was done to me. If, if this is not pathetic, and is it that is that pathetic that you go and you torture a person and then you ask him not to spill the secrets because it was it would damage its reputation. As British did this stuff because they knew how much I loved the British. It was time when I would give for British absolutely anything in this world. That's why they did this. If you ask yourself, why would British do this? Well, they did this because of this. 
everybody who was involved in MK Ultra knows that despite everything that went on against me, whatever day I was delivered, brought whatever, I always advocated British, promoted British, above all. The two different worlds completely apart from one another. Yes, indeed, because I'm a victim. My being depressed about what they did to me Genocide being enforced against me on every step of the way, on every breath I make, it's normal to feel this way. With amount of work behind me, now it's behind me. Now most of it is already behind me. Now I already feel very good. I feel released. Uh, I... I am more and more and more again by myself. By the way, I have a very good news to deal to share with you guys. Uh, my urine again. I wasn't sure I'm ever gonna see one in a such a in a such a in a such a way. And I am not gonna be doing well, this, but I uh, just want to a little you. bit around. This uh, is. This is as pure as mountain water. Uh, there is blood in it, and this blood is from the gallbladder. Uh, liver. But guess what? It's pure like a mountain water, and I had no idea. That's why I did that transfer of the videos, that I ever going to have kidneys function like this again. Because... It was catastrophe. Uh, nothing what you see right there. Uh, I was pretty damn sure any video I take, any video I take, it looked. Yeah, let me see something else here. And we want to do this stuff here. Um, do you see what this is here? Uh, let me make sure about this stuff. No, it's not, but no, it's, it's not quite. But the last examination I had at the hospital, uh, on that examination, when they stated the urine is completely normal, that everything is normal, they're not normal because I know that it was not normal but any any anything any video recording that i would take for the past <coughs> eight months at least eight months update. and it's more probably 10 this. months i would say it would look like this it didn't look good okay it just didn't look good it looked not good so the good news about this stuff is this thing here folks that i know that i'm going to make it through that my kidneys are functioning it's extremely extremely encouraging within the last four days as i came to the issue that might be gallbladder uh kidney i have implemented some drastic changes and the results are in Or actually, already before, I already started to make some important changes, but the latest changes I have implemented, they drastically changed. I would not make it to this level if I wouldn't implement some other differences before already. But during the last four days, I, I think, yes, I think that this morning, beginning of this morning when I saw this, I think I'll be okay. I think I will be just fine. Um, uh, 
just quickly to wrap it up. Two different worlds uh, with psychiatrists and police paying a very close attention. I'm never going to forget when my mother stated me. I am going to be just like you were. I'm going to be in my room. This is what they foretold at my return from Poland. Uh, they wanted me to feel sorry for them. They wanted me to fucking eat myself out completely, watching them hurting themselves deliberately. Do you understand what I'm trying to say about two different worlds with the same... Not really with the same issue. Depression can be healthy. As if somebody hurts you, you need time to recuperate yourself. Today, I don't give a three fucks about British royals anymore. Uh, I don't fucking ditch them down the toilet any time of the day, and I'm looking forward to serve them with a the police subpoena. Nothing more in my life than what I stated. It, depression can be healthy, and it can also be self-destructive, toxic. When you eat chocolate, which is recommended actually, the sweets for depression, uh, you know, like crisis, let's just say that something goes and you can indulge yourself, you know, to overcome that stuff. Yeah, you understand me what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's nothing wrong with it, really. But if you are doing shit like this on a long term that you end up hurting yourself, that is actually self-destructive. That's actually suicidal. That's actually self-inflicting as far as injury. Now, even if you have depression and you're doing this as a whatever kind of relief suggests that you can make it through, that I would classify still as normal. I would, I would classify this still as completely normal, saying, Okay, I would say. But if you're doing this stuff to deliberately harm yourself, you understand me what I'm trying to say? That is a whole totally different ball, totally different story. And this is the impression that my father and my mother, accordingly with the police instructions, according with the psychiatrist Peter Kapp, his instructions continue to implement against me. Father did some really good acting inside of the home for elderly people. Uh, and now it seems like mother started to go the same way. And I reported about, by the way, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and Novo Mesto police director, who no longer is the ex-director, Janis Ogulin claimed on how to me, in front of the parents, of course, uh, how they are going to prove that I was the one who got parents into this kind of behavior even. So, you know, this is, this is a guess lighting at its best. So let's go to another issue. Crazy, I am going to be, will be talking to you about this issue here, this one here. This is the AliExpress delivery, and you're going to say, wow, what the fuck this got to do with the video you are video recording? Well, this year was my first ever year when I was perching purchasing on an AliExpress of what is known as um, at reduced costs, this kind of stuff. Beach, uh, actually, they would, you, would, you, would, you, you get to choose the items and you would not pay for the mailing services. Yeah? And these items are really cheap, really, really at super discounted costs. 
in uh, wow uh, it's something and they were playing during MKR and I'm talking about the police Slovenian police again talking about the neighbors talking about some 100 people gathering inside of our house and discussing over the course of the years this sale that you see right here which might not even who the fuck knows existed back then remember when i told you about how aliexpress became to exist the whole history about the aliexpress behind the curtain uh how eventually at first it was russians who were using the program beginning the 1996 where they would have this kind of uh, all kinds of uh, merchandise on it and it would be of course offline program loaded on a disc and uh they started to advertise what would be Chinese uh, future Chinese AliExpress. And I don't even know if the, at the time the name was AliExpress, yes? And they had uh, certain things and they started and, and what they wanted to do was make an impression on me that AliExpress already existed in 1996. I told you about the Jack Ma's involvement in this case uh and so on i we went through this stuff already uh, how yahoo eventually uh, executives how they invested into aliexpress how and why and so on even supposedly to help to help me etc i told you about all these issues already uh whether this kind of sale existed ever i have no fucking clue but it's the first time I actually am playing with. Uh, I am a really, really close-minded person. You know, uh, to describe myself best, when it comes to all these opportunities, uh, I always went only after whatever I needed. If I needed something, I went ahead and I purchased that item wherever the item would be and i never cared about the, yeah i have to make this kind of disclaimer i never cared about uh, this kind of a uh, sales and stuff like they have this sales now i never cared about this stuff i never ever cared about any of this stuff so the stuff that you see i didn't also care about because i did not understand how it works on aliexpress mostly throughout the years i was buying from ebay you know i was buying from the ebay so what I mentioned to you, please bear with me, goes hand in hand with what I reported here from my mother was literally play with a poisonous walnut for the poisonous walnut uh, mother literally physically assaulted me this went into physical assault totally uh, and i don't like to talk about this stuff still don't like to talk about it but we'll do stuff like this to protect myself and even punish and even use this issue to get the truth from the mother or otherwise. I'm not here to destroy my mother. Don't get me wrong, despite everything involved against me. I am here to obtain from my mother the admission, not even the recognition, but admission about For one thing, the way I feel about it, viewing me as an equal human being, you understand? Viewing me as a human being, admission. 
uh, excuse me, recognition to view me as an equal human being. That's one thing. Because she referred to me as a crazy fuck, as demented. She still does in real time. She's insulting me every fucking day, not only under MK Ultra, but continues to view me as mentally ill, as crazy, as lazy, etc., etc., etc. So, claiming is paying all the bills to me, was paying all the bills for me in my life, and I haven't done nothing, and blatantly insulted him in my face. As far as the recognition, that she see me as a human being, that she accepts, that I see in her eyes, in her face, that not about her confession about what was wrong and what was not. I don't give a fuck about that. But I want her to understand, I want her to see that I will be the one who will implement complete control, take over of the Slovenian police, complete possession, that I will be the one who will grab the police officers that were here for the throat. You understand what I'm trying to say? That I am equally capable of placing the people inside of the psychiatric hospitals and in the jail as to what they accomplish through the lies against me, as far as the recognition, and can also be done to her for improper behavior, for stupid, idiotic, for continuation of abusive behavior, this likewise can be done. As far as the recognition is this, I don't accept any kind of apologies. Fuck that. As far as admission, well, that is in the hands of the people, whether she wants to testify or not, about who and how exactly was it. That's not even important to me. It's not important to me because of degree of how dangerous these people are. You're talking about the people who have credentials to murder at police. You're talking about the police officers. You're talking about the psychiatrists, people who have a license to kill. Her behavior on the day of this assault, November the 30, 2023, was mad, crazy, irrational, and what drove her insane was, believe it or not, the order from the AliExpress. During AliExpress, yeah, this is this is this is what you. If you don't understand the background of this uh, issues, it's impossible to. Uh, I'm analyzing her exactly according to MK Ultra brainwash. They did not only on me, but it became completely evident also on her. It was my niece who also drove my mother insane, Urska Golob Weber, who insisted that I have to post this on the internet. If I would not post this on the internet, I'm never going to get to see my mother again once the police investigation starts. It was this politician here Natasha Pierce Moser, this lady here, who stated upon observing the future orders I would make from AliExpress. They knew that at one point in time I'm going to start to look at the AliExpress sales, but this is the first time. And I remember that my mother enjoyed uh, uh, insoles, actually even which insoles that she enjoyed, you know? Uh, she enjoyed exactly uh, 
this kind of insoles, and there was a particular insole that was also sold on AliExpress, for which Xi Jinping, the Chinese president, stated me, if I will purchase one, uh, it will not be sold to me. He loved my mom and uh, my father, and uh, he was very much concerned for the two. And so when I ordered a shoe insole that was just like this, which my mother asked me to get her something like this, that would be basically uh, Xi Jinping was a frequent visitor to us, frequent. Don't ask if he was here in Slovenia. He was here in Slovenia. This is a pharmacist. He was here next to the Kirka Pharmaceutical Company. I am distance 500 meters many times. That's all I'm going to say. So this was sold on AliExpress that you see right there as a form of insert in a sneakers, shoes, whatever. But it doesn't have... Uh, it doesn't have as what you see right there. It can, uh, it was something like this with a heel, yeah, in the middle. And this is what my mother explained to me is her issue that she would like to get something like that. But Xi Jinping told me that if I purchase something like this from AliExpress, it will not be sold to me because this is dangerous and can move back and forth inside of the shoe, as it's not the whole shoe sole. You see, it's just a part of it. It's like you would cut in the middle and will not be sold to me for my mom so that she would not endure even worse injuries because this can get a really bad injury if this thing is moving back and forth inside of the shoe. Uh, when I, and I also video recorded it, all the stuff I'm talking to you about is video recorded or audio recorded. I'm not going to go and look for that proof right now. Maybe I'm going to go later on or whatever, but I'm not going to go right now. Uh, when I did order, when I did make an order, I could not complete the fucking order. And I could not complete the fucking order because it was this item inside. And I ordered many, many items. Many items I ordered because I went to purchase merchandise with my mother. Uh, she, she was in a good mood and I was in a good mood and I said, let's go and we're going to buy ourselves something. I wanted to entertain her and so on. And uh, when we did this, uh, I couldn't pay for the items. Uh, she co-financed is what I'm trying to say. She is financing. She is co-financing. And it's true that without her, I would not be capable to get through. This is wholly true. However, this truth comes at my expense. It is true per convenience per Slovenian state convenience, which is a rada that would recognize genocide against me in 2010, when I returned from Sweden, from Karls, and I started to talk about MKUltra, went ahead and enforced even psychiatric option against me. So that for me, I will never recognize this as any kind of form of assistance. For me, under especially circumstances as such, that you would be bleeding from the gallbladder, from the liver and stuff, and threatened with the psychiatry, uh, gaslighted with the ambulance vehicle night and fucking day, uh, whichever way you turn, etc., 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 this is not a form of assistance. This is a form of driving somebody insane and eventually trying to kill him through the health issues that you have developed over the course of the time. You know, cancer dots on the, throughout the body and serious injury on the left foot, uh, spine injury, and so on and so forth. You don't, through the, through the forced unemployment, it's such issues. You don't fucking do that. Come on. Let's be serious about it. That's not a form of assistance. Uh, it's the way, it's, a, it's for convenience, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's something disgusting. That's it. So when this sale here came up, 
And that's why I demonstrated you even the president of the pre present president of Slovenia. It was the same shit. Uh, the niece stated, if you're not going to put this online, they're going to take the mother away. You're never going to see one anymore and so on. Yet it is true. Uh, of all these items that you see right here in this package, it is just as I was told the case is going to be. By the some Slovenian uh, individual, they, they pointed out maybe even in Kran or something like this. I don't know who, I don't know what, what, what state prosecutor or whatever it is. Uh, entire Slovenian parliament was involved in it. The words from Slovenian president Natasha Pirc Musar was, these items did not go through. These items did not go through. Slovenian police continues to confiscate items at the main uh, import uh, place in uh, once you're going to place this video online okay uh, uh, sorry uh, Natasha Pierce Musser stated I will look into it and I don't see nothing wrong with it and I will let these items through and you will have no more problems with it uh, for these items, I was told, if we are going to incarcerate the mother, and they did state this in front of the mother, if we are going to incarcerate the mother, you're going to see this already, whoever the police officers were, state prosecutors inside of the house back then. You're going to see that the delivery for her is not going to go through the tax, uh, Slovenian import, uh, <clears throat> postal service uh, customs, I should say, yeah, but it will be actually rejected and sent back to China. So this, in this package here, the only thing that was for me was what you see here, a waste for the phone. That's all there was. And entire package, as you're about to see, I'm going to release the video about it about the Slovenian police play with uh, with these items was in fact stopped and I was compelled to request for a money refund for all the items. This one in fact already was refunded. So this is like a sign, um, how can I say, that that's what they threatened me. If you're gonna see this package, where it's going to be for the mother, the shoe insoles. Well, that's why I well explained about what they played with this stuff. Uh, mother asked me during MK Ultra, what you're going to get for me? Uh, what the only thing I would buy from this sales when this sales would go on would be the shoes, shoe insoles. Uh, so I, this is the stuff that, that I try to get for her. Uh, in the package, which is going to be for the mother, if you're going to see that one not going through, that means 100% the mother is going to be arrested and taken away for good, basically jailed, etc., etc., etc. And when I stated to my mother that it's that package with shoe insoles uh, that doesn't go through, everybody during MK Ultra was talking about this issue. Uh, and it was in fact confiscated uh, at the customs. Uh, my mother saw that I would have to ask for the money refund. My mother, I observed her, lost her call. She, she, became, she became very, very nervous. Another thing I also observed my mama, it was exactly the same in when, and, uh, when she would go like this from the side, you would always have me sit here in this place. When she would go and uh, yeah, she takoi takoi. Uh, she looked at me from the side and she saw that 
I had a bulge here. Uh, this bulge comes uh, sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's smaller. Uh, but there was pain here. I am okay. It's getting better. Um, I remember her during MK Ultra. How she she uh, you know she would look at me. Noting that something is wrong, that is cancer that is back. And this is what everybody involved in MK Ultra was afraid of. That I would get one here. There were two things they were afraid of on right testicle and on this thing here. The girls that were interested in me were not happy about me getting cancer on a testicle. Slovenian police have gone as far as having me jerk off during is this MK Ultra sessions or is this cancer sessions? Literally in front of the computer, oh this is sick, right? This is sick. This is sick. Yes, this is sick. Well I told you that I'm not going to even go into what I want to do with these people. This is not sick. This is just not a joke. This is serious, as serious anything can possibly be. They had me jerk off in front of a computer on a porn movies. They would do that kind of stuff and have a knowledge as another location possibly in the future that would cancer could expand through literally testicles, left testicle to be uh, right text, right testicle to be exact, to be precise about it. This is just the way it is. This is what they were doing. They were, they were, they were inflicting injuries as many as it possibly could. This is what a novel mess of police investigators involved in this case were paid for. That's all there is to it. And so once she once she noted the other day that I had this thing here, she was she looked at me from the distance but wouldn't say anything. She wouldn't say absolutely anything. She didn't say anything. So that's you know, I don't know how how she manages. If I had a son or God forbid, it would be my mom. A child, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it would be, it would be very difficult for me to deal with this kind of stuff. So I don't know how how it is for her. Uh, but there is absolutely no doubt there was a gaslighting done also on my parents. My parents are driven insane. You don't get to see this kind of uh, behavior, this kind of stuff, basically done like a chip, chip. This is basically chop. This is how psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was doing. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch stated in front of me to my mother that he will be video monitoring watching, observing surveillance in my mother inside of the house. And if she's not going to be chop chop like this, that she that he will start to view the option between her and me, literally. So this is not this is not really uh, to put people in this kind of circumstances. This is completely uh, very much inhumane. Uh, if how much of this stuff is the agreement and how much of this is convenience for my mother, my niece, my father, I don't fucking know what the Slovenian state prosecutors placed in their heads. I have no idea what they had in it. I don't know. I am trying to help. Uh, and for every help I do, for every assistance, for every everything I try to 
uh, excuse my parents I always get in return it's always the injection this is just the way it is uh, once the mother heard about this items not going through the customs uh, she became really visibly nervous I also observe her based on MK Ultra uh, issues, not because my mom could go in the store and buy herself uh, this shoe and so on, et cetera, et cetera. And the next thing that happened was uh, the walnut incident. She just couldn't find peace. Uh, and the next thing, she jumped on me, wanted to get this walnut walnuts and eat them and i don't know what the fuck she started to just grab this bag and started to eat them and so on pretty crazy stuff uh especially when i consider that she present she purchased them for me basically so that i would have walnuts since i was looking for the walnut and so on and all of a sudden everything changed into some kind of crazy toxic uh, stuff uh after we already agreed that I'm going to go to the store and purchase another walnut. In fact, they were even offering inside of the store for the cost of five euros, I think, the whole kill of the walnut. And this walnuts, I think they costed like four euros. This is just half a kilo, four euros, and one kilo, five euros, or six euros, I don't know. Obviously, either way you look, it's worthy to go to the store and do exchange, yes? And so... Uh, my making a mistakes about NK Ultra unlike ever before you have sure enough noticed that I have made very that I started to implement corrections I never did before like this I started to that, that was about the nurse Yanko and the so-called second psychiatrist, which is, I'm going to repeat, just a guy with maximum high school who works at the maintenance department on this place, is what I was told, if that is true. I was told that he was a bookkeeper, that he was a accountant, uh, next to psychiatrist, but I also was told that he was a maintenance guy. And from what I recall, before he got a job at Home for Elderly People, which I think he got a job at, elder, at Home for Elderly People in, 19, uh, in 1995, 1996, I think he worked in some other uh, place. Uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, maybe a kindergarten or school or something like that. Also as a maintenance guy. I am unsure, though, because I don't know when it comes to these people, what really. Uh, I'm fortunate I have identified so many residents at Home for Elderly People and much of the staff, but there were some cookies, especially if they did really bad stuff, that they would not want you to identify them. It's as simple as this. Um, uh, this corrections here is what was signaled by the Slovenian government to my mother through the neighbor here, Metod Yerman. This is a very interesting cookie. This is the cookie who was the longest, not the longest, one of the longest, yeah, maybe even of all the investigators that I dealt with for the last 30 years, probably involved individual. He was not even a police officer yet back then. But here is about this uh, cookie, if you want to know. He lives just one house from ours. And, mommy, I have to finish this quickly because mom is going to go and do some wash that shouldn't and so on. So I have to intercept them. She does that. Uh, this cookie, there are two cookies here. 
claimed me are going to be doing a surveillance on me, reading the blog, everything about what I will do. This is our house. Uh, this here is one guy, is a brother of the police officer, Zdenko Yerman, and his name is Tina Yerman. Uh, he has a lot of time. Uh, and then we have this guy, which is his cousin. Yeah, this is a method Yerman, a police officer, who eventually, what you see right there, at one point in time, was even playing with on this garage here that you see uh, at top of this thing here uh, with the drone. He was the first one who got a police drone and with, uh, with another neighbor, with Andre Uhl, they would launch drone and began to surveillance this entire area. Talking about the police drone here. during my whereabouts and video record from the drone uh, literally administer entire area, observe entire area uh, of Kirka and Smolenia Gora and Slatnik and so on. Uh, I don't know what kind of drone this was. I don't know I don't believe that he is still doing this kind of stuff, but I know that police, Novomesto police, was using drones already for this operation, for MK Ultra operations already. Maybe even since from beginning in 1995, once I immigrated to the United States of America. Maybe even since 1995, because it was all American technology. This is what this was all about. They got a lot of freebies. They got a lot of stuff they could only dream about. Novo Mesto Director Janos Ogolin alone stated me what I am stating you right now. <laughs> so, if I can excuse her irrational behavior in respect to this walnut, then that's all basically I can say in her in her, uh, in her uh, defense, this individual here stated that will be the one who eventually would even inspect what I stated and then afterwards release the items. Uh, she stated that she was watching this stuff. That's how they talk to you. I was watching this stuff and I haven't found nothing wrong with it. Of course, I was watching this stuff when 10, year, 10 years ago, eight years ago, when you were being told stuff like this, eight years ago, uh, doesn't have anything to do with it, but would have to do with it in the future. And what I stated to you right now is what they also refer to as a paranoid schizophrenia. These people believe they can prove that MKUltra procedures do not exist. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, this news about my mother consuming nothing but bread, yogurt and stuff like this. Uh, I hate it. It is the news to drive me insane. Uh, not only used by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch to drive me insane, but I am afraid that the people who, uh, that psychiatrists have developed the mental illness in my parents that grants them the ability, and I'm not properly expressing myself right here right now, but they view themselves, they view this the issue when consuming shitty food uh, and observing me basically eating myself, offering them good food, offering them that I will do this, whatever it takes, so they're not going to cook for them or whatever, uh, to literally console themselves. Uh, that is actually 
that it actually it's like a, it's like you would give somebody a candy basically when you see another person eating himself uh, when you know you're doing you I you know this is the stuff I have never done in my life not a single one time in my life that I would go and do something so that people will feel sorry for me I don't properly know how to fuck to express myself about this stuff but I know that people do this stuff like this and it's been done so that other person I'm not going to say that can feel sorry for you in this case but you can that you can even assist that you can actually even help and contribute with this kind of behavior to the mental problems of another person that is trying to bail himself out basically finish this procedure and this procedure already once submit complaint in this case and go on with life uh, just basically picking yourself on food issues deliver you know delivering in between the chocolates and all kinds of stuff all kinds of shitty food uh, and hoping that he's going to go and through depression that that you're causing him psychological harm is going to eat himself out too just like you do you know what i mean i don't know how to properly how to um how to more relate myself to this issue i hope i did well enough to explain to you about this kind of a yogurt and crackers let me demonstrate you what kind of crackers these are, these are crackers in my particular Labeled as cancerous. Like, this is like super cancerous. This is like the most cancerous. This is like a cancer booster. This, this kind of practice, like this, this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I wanted to, I had to clarify this issue about this kind of uh, self harming behavior, which there is self harming behavior. My mother definitely was and definitely is scared about at least this is what she portrayed during mk ultra all the time if you will be talking about this if you will this and it will be the police and will it take me and it's going to be i don't know what it's going to be uh it's very defined in real time when i try to remind her whenever she's doing the stuff she shouldn't of what she insisted me during mk ultra uh but during MK Ultra, she displayed uh, extremely high concerns, claimed me that it's going to be the police that's going to take them away, and so on and so forth. But this is definitely not good stuff uh, when I consider this criminal here that serves as the president of Slovenia that went on to push issues like this and literally what you're about to see next i'm going to be releasing more videos about the deliveries of items from china so we have a whole collection of items that were destroyed uh and i have not spoken to you about the slovenian customs which frequently it would take them months to deliver basically what otherwise would they do if ordered from ebay or aliexpress if this shit comes to you quickly within two weeks you have any kind of item uh when in fact they were training me they were training my brain to get used to three months deliveries on a frequent basis before the 2020 and even that shit would come broken etc etc literally with my father one time uh using knife on an mp3 player and so on and so forth so you know um these are basically these are the issues how can i say that um uh, for the mp3 player that my father was uh, uh, you know for the mp3 player that my father was sticking the knife into but police had an explanation he will destroy you. He will chop you, the MP3 player. So what now? What now? Oh, by the way, do you remember the cameras that you purchased? 
Oh, what's wrong with them? The battery, right? The battery. So what you're going to do? What you're going to do? You're going to open it up and what you're going to do? You're going to put the battery out and you're going to, what you're going to do? You're going to put inside of the camera, right? And now you have a DVR, you have a recorder and so on. So they wanted me to stick as many screws as possible, in fact, into the evidence. The room which they infested with the moths is filled with physical evidence. With the fingerprints, I was even told during MK Ultra, with a lot of fingerprints, you would not want to go and do that kind of stuff. If it's whatever, if this was the house they used, who the fuck knows what they were doing. Uh, but that's what they guaranteed me that this house is due to be forensically examined for evidence for the fingerprinting. Fingerprints. Mami, dimi povečite te peljem. Ne. Bo prišla uška praviš? Ti, se fali krakečki? Ja, jaz sem mislil, da jih bom jedo, ni prav? Ne, ne, Kaj? Posnel krakečke? Ne. Zakaj? Pa, za kaj se pa boješ, da bi jih dal? Jaz nisem, jaz nisem tist, ki jih kupuje. Jaz jih ne kupuje. Jaz tega ne kupuje, mami. Ne vem pa, eno drugo stvar, ne vem pa, zakaj jih ti kupuješ. Ja. Pa jogurt, pa e, kruh, ne? Pa vsak dan, pa kava, ne? Pa nič drugega. To je moja stvar. Ne, to ni tvoja stvar. Je normalno hrano, mami. Tako je, kakor se mi povedal. Ti s čekavo piješ, potem vode ne piješ. Ker te zapre, niste tako rekli. Ja, no, mami. Uh, I hope I'm going to find this video. If I'm not going to find this video, then the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, what I will do is I will just uh, put the video, a really short video below, but I'm going to demonstrate you. And I think that's like a short video I'm going to use, uh, which I think it's the best, uh, the best video I can use to actually demonstrate what exactly I mean by this. When I say about the fingerprints issues and so on. I like that little short video I made. It's like really... Uh, hey. I don't know why, but on OBS, on this, on this program, 
I don't know how to set a pause button. It doesn't work, I think. I don't know. It worked on other versions, but on this one somehow it doesn't work in, in case that you ask yourself why why am I not doing like this or like that? I'm not doing it because it gives me uh, it gives me a hassle. It's a trouble. Is whatever I try to do that is just is just causing me inability to set the pause button. This version of OBS also is a kind of version that made me many times uh, but still it's it's old fashioned and it always works and that's another plus as to those newer versions uh, I had a feeling that those uh, frequently were even interrupted during the recording stopped me from having like video, this. I... video recorded uh, Stop me somewhere halfway during the recording, and uh, and that was it. Now uh, this is yet another issue. Oh, this is when I said when I mentioned to you this kind of issue. This is a big, big, big problem, and I'm gonna have to video record again how the laptop works, so that you get to see basically how the laptop works. The laptop works in a such a way as to if you do select the pause button and proceed the record button, there is actually even a possibility that when you touch certain part of the keyboard or the computer, uh, you don't even have to uh, possibly, I do not know. I, I have no idea how that is. Uh, I know that the ports that are used to when you connect the Android with the, with a computer, let's say, uh, it will just. I'm not gonna say for this. It, it's, even if the slightly you would move uh, those ports, they would disconnect themselves from computer. But uh, if I would even touch with a hand close to the port during the uh, during the uh, data transfer, let's say, uh, even like this, all my laptops they have oh, done this shit too. Uh, even that if you would if you would touch close to the port during the data transfer, it would just stop transferring the data, and it would drive you absolutely insane. So the best way is to just uh, during the data transfer is to just plug uh, is but simply plug it's just to simply plug uh, cable cable and transfer the data while you are away from the computer uh, the possibility, therefore, even exists that once you type a address in or whatever into issue into a browser while using an OBS, a video recorder I'm video recording with right now, that it would interrupt, uh, you know, since you use this hotkeys buttons to control the video recording itself, uh, interrupt and disrupt the video recording process. And it's possible that uh, typing on, uh, on a keyboard causes some form of uh, malfunction with uh, hot keys at OBS, yes, and it you maybe I even maybe have used to when I was using a newer versions with these hot keys, stop myself from video recording in the middle of the video. That's a possibility I cannot actually I cannot exclude. So what I'm gonna do is because I don't find this video, I am gonna place this. Uh, below and you can 
you're gonna view the video because you know, I'm not gonna I don't I don't see this video here anywhere so but you're gonna see issues that do make a lot of sense actually all the sense they procalculated the police talking about the police here every millimeter every millimeter of the space inside of the house and have literally restrained me to the certain areas to the very particular areas of the house where also they enforce all all kinds of bullshit uh introduced through in mk ultra on how you know harassments basically that's what the mother is used for this isn't mother that is doing this kind of stuff uh it's a slovenian state it's a state prosecutor uh, in this state prosecutor these people they don't care much about my mama not about my father uh, they're just interested in causing as much harm as possible i frankly believe to my mom and to my father but you know what my mother and my father are doing is basically based on what they want to do in many ways it could be different uh they didn't have to do this kind of stuff uh they choose to do it this way uh I am definitely the one who would push down the throat. All right. And this is just the way it is. Sorry, folks, I cannot find, I apologize this video, but I hope I clarify these issues about, I'm gonna say somewhat, all right? Somewhat same issue, uh, it's not it's not the same it's not even the issue is not the same talking about depression it's not the same issue uh but definitely there are two different worlds so that's all i'm gonna put this video right below so that you can see it yeah